What's up guys, Flo Shizzle here, and this is your Brimstone Mains Guide to Bind. Now, ever since Astra got nerfed, Omen has been tried out on this map, and he isn't particularly bad, but Brimstone has definitely been the main driving force for a smokes on this map. Now this guide is going to cover Brimstone, but in the terms of a solo controller. I know in pro play, there's a lot of dual controller going on with Viper and Brimstone or Viper and Omen. But in the case of this, we're going to pretend like you're the only controller on the team because in general, that's probably more realistic to rank play. Nobody really wants to play a secondary controller if they already have someone who's taking the role of the primary. So we're going to assume that you're the only good guy on the team. We're going to start on the defense side and we're going to start on how to defend A. Now, positioning wise, I'm going to generally recommend you try to stay near the U-Haul area. And the biggest reason is because you can actually smoke out B or Hookah in particular from here. If you were to stay toward showers, you'll notice that you're way too far to smoke anything on B and you're very committed with your smokes toward A. And specifically, just look at Hookah, right? If you want to defend a B push and Hookah is not smoked out, this entire area to the left is just shut out. You can't be peeking that because you'll just be shot from Hookah. And yes, while you can be tucked into this cubby and you can fight the long players without being exposed to Hookah, once you're found out, you're kind of dead. They'll pin you from along and then you'll kind of be stuck in this corner. And then if there's any mollies, any nades, anything being used to clear you out, that they'll probably use it then and you'll be dead. With just a simple smoke, this kind of gets solved. You can cross left and right, take the fights as you need, and you can cross back, as well as the fact that you can be playing close hookah and create a lot of crossfires with defenders on site, as if they cross out and you're close, uh, there could be someone back site in the tube peeking there, there, and it becomes a lot harder. Just one smoke does that. Now, ideally, obviously, you would like to have two smokes, smoke one for garden and one for hookah, but obviously, if you're the site anchor you can't really get that um you would have to commit to holding b brimstone is good at holding either so i don't think that there's any specific reason you would really want to commit to one or the other kind of play it by ear and decide based on how your team is performing in terms of defending A and you're playing near U-Haul, you want to smoke it out. Now, this can depend. A lot of people will like to still do the one way and it kind of works, but they can kind of crouch under it. This isn't a big deal as this will still give you defenders advantage if you're just holding that area. But I don't like the fact that I can't really swing wide out of it. So sometimes I will place the nor normal one and let it show the top of the box. So if I smoke something like this, yes, I can't get shot from there. They can hop up there, but as long as I'm aware of it, then I can be holding it and I can actually give me a kind of angle to get a kill here as someone is expecting you not to be aware of that. This also allows me to swing wide if I ever need to. So there's that. We're going to use the basic smoke right here just as an example. If you can, you want to try dropping a molly before they push. This is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you guys really are questioning why. But the idea is that if it separates it, you can kind of easily get the kills from the people who are running on top. Those are the only people that can really be peeking. That everyone behind the smoke is obviously going to be mollied out. And you can get a free kill that way. Stall the push if you can. The other thing is if you can't do that or you get beaten by a timing, for example, you're just not in position to do that, then you're really going to want to try your best to hold on to you. U-Haul is probably the most important part of holding A. If you hold U-Haul, your chances of retaking are actually quite high. So something like this is if you take like the initial fight and they've already crossed out, you can just bounce a molly off of this. This will shut down any potential U-Haul take and they are kind of limited to the amount of space they can really have after planting. So if you think about it, usually the smokes go something like this, right? If you hold Shower's Presence, then the attackers only have usually up to this amount of control. And this is very awkward as without U-Haul control and without Shower's control, they're forced to play like two normal spots, just pocket, maybe in this corner, and then everything else is short A. With one smoke after they plant, you'll realize that they have two good positions to play, which is one right here, one right here. And then you have the easiest retake of your life. So this is why U-Haul presence is so big. If you lose U-Haul, then it becomes much harder because they can be playing around this corner here, holding both U-Haul and any of the pushes, allowing crossfires between pocket players and short players because they have this U-Haul position. So if you can, you can just hold it. The molly can delay and then you can play an off angle like this. And then you can probably just kill somebody because when you think about it, when people are crossing, they're aiming for this corner or they're aiming for this. So if you can just hold something like maybe like this, you'll probably be good. Um, get the headshot and just kind of rail them as they run across. 
Molly says stop the plant are just usually to just bank it off this wall and that's usually good enough you can aim a little bit higher if you really want but obviously you can adjust this depending on where you hear the plant for probably aim under the window or something like that that'll give you the closest to the truck and that's usually the general kind of safe plant now we're going to talk about how to play around the attacker's smokes these are the most common two smokes you can kind of actually play this from heaven if you really want it does give a gap but they are usually quite aware of it so it's not kind of the best but you can kind of punish them unless they commit the third smoke which i tend to see brimstones generally not want to do and they'd rather use it to re-smoke something later on if you can hold on to showers presence that is super strong so we're gonna imagine these two smokes are thrown up and then you're gonna throw a smoke towards showers then you can kind of like maybe molly it um i'm doing this based off of i and like just kind of guessing where it is and when you molly it you can kind of hide in the smoke knowing that no one can push out of showers and then timing the swing to try to kill whoever's planting this can be a little bit predictable if you have a combo with some sort of another utility agent like a flash that'd be a lot better but the amount of times where you kind of just catch someone off guard is actually quite high and it becomes really hard after you get the kill you can just kind of duck back into the smoke or you can continue pushing after your molly is faded into showers timing is kind of everything here if you want to take it one step further so we're going to smoke the three chokes again so these are these two are the attackers one the shower one is yours you can kind of throw a smoke like right here and then this will make it so it's like much easier to get this fight and it blocks out the most common angles for someone to try to trade you from which is from u-haul or from short a when you cross out you get a one-on-one -on -one with this guy and you kind of duck back in yeah you can get shot from it but generally it's like such a small gap um you can even adjust it a little bit if you really want to something like this uh, but that gives a kind of gap on this side the idea is to think a little bit proactively and just kind of guess where people are holding this way it gives you that one-on-one -on -one with the site person and you can kind of get out in terms of playing for your ult you don't always need to try to ult the plant sometimes just guaranteeing the kill is good enough um, while ulting the plant is good and obviously everyone loves it a lot of the time people are just kind of used to it and are already playing around it so basically a lot of the times what i'll do is i'll try to bait someone to chase me into u-haul right so i'll take the fight maybe i'll get one maybe i won't but do some damage and then they're gonna want to take u-haul because like i said u-haul control is very important in holding the a site and once if they committed in i can drop the ult right here and then i actually kind of pull them into a trap where they end up dying the other the safe bet is always to go for the planter but a lot of the times it just kind of get baited for free if you are going for the planter wait until it about two to three seconds in when they've gotten it to about the halfway point or about three quarters into the bar you can kind of picture this that way they feel almost committed to actually sticking the plant while they can run you've wasted the maximum amount of time where they've committed maybe the extra two to three seconds to the stick rather than ulting right off the point where they kind of tap it because they could just tap and leave Another smoke you can use to hold A is the early showers one. You throw it deep so that the edge of it covers the uh, like the doorway. If anyone pushes out, they're kind of immediately susceptible to close left, close right, and, and obviously anyone holding the back angles. Makes it really hard for them to take showers and the normal counter is they kind of shoot a dart here. You just break it and you can molly after if you really need to. Normally, I wouldn't recommend playing showers, but sometimes it's okay, um, dependent on like how well your team is holding B. But if anything, you'd really want a teammate to be holding this if possible. The smoke really shuts out this orb as well and allows you to have more presence over the A site. If you kind of throw this smoke and they kind of back off from taking showers you're gonna realize that after even if they go up short and plant a it's gonna be very hard for them to hold the site because they like i said only have a quarter of the site and if you are able to hold you haul then even less giving another angle they always have to be worried about someone swinging showers it becomes really hard for them to hit a that's just by taking showers control which people only usually commit maybe one or two players to just be careful of the late lurks as this is very common for shower plays what i mean by a late lurk is your enemy team has most of their team going up short a and there's one guy just waiting out here for like the team to get onto site and then they'll start pushing uh, late lurks are strong because it catches you off guard where you're like thinking oh they're already on site they're planting they're probably not going to be someone coming up and your attention is almost solely focused toward where the spike is going down and then you get caught blindsided they retake shower and then it's a 5v4 and then it becomes a little more awkward 
so yeah as long as you're aware of that and you can understand the timings and you know check and then you know that you have a couple second window where you can't possibly get flanked and then you go take the fight a before checking showers again you'll be okay hey guys if you guys have watched this far into the video i thank you so much you've reached the secret middle point the secret society where only cool people live comment down that you've reached this point below i'll give you a personal shout out and don't remember to like and subscribe now onto the video defending b is a little bit different so you have like aggro positions where you can play guarding outside of hookah you can just drop this one this one's pretty simple obviously everyone knows what this kind of does makes it really hard for anyone to push through especially on those eco rounds where you have like a judge or something this is perfect because they have to run through the smoke they have to guess left or right so it's a 50 50 if they know where you are you still have a pretty solid chance of killing them so those are really good obviously you can molly out this choke this stops the raise roomba that always tries to bounce in from there where they throw it all against the wall and it comes in you can even throw this slightly more aggro one this one's a little more unique um you can kind of break it from here and you kind of gain a little more space do be careful though because sometimes people just like swinging through it you could kind of counter that by actually getting aggro with it but obviously with a raise Roomba, you might want a teammate to shoot it out by playing defensively you can just kind of play on site back site anywhere really as long as the smoke is up i recommend and not always committing to playing something like here um and i'll kind of explain it on the attack side but this this always gets mollied um so when you get smoked out and mollied out you kind of essentially you don't count as a b player anymore you're you pushed out anyone on your team that is on site are going to be alone you can't help so if possible if you have a teammate on site you want to commit to the site with them so you don't get like smoked and mollied out this is the common smoke if you're going to stop it you can just drop a molly like somewhere here it makes it really hard for any of them to jump out because if they jump out they get mollied you can probably angle this to even get it on top of that if you really want to but in general this does 90 percent of the job and if they do come out as long as you're ready you're good for it defending hookah uh, i just want to give some tips towards spamming remember the left and the right side of this wall are paper so you can kind of spam through it and if you look there is roughly the edges where people love to play in after it gets smoked so throwing some spam out is also like just pretty solid since this is all paper you can kind of just wall bang them on either side um don't always just aim for the window gap everyone thinks that the window gap is the only part where you can spam but remember left and right of it in terms of playing for b long this is actually a pretty solid one aggression allows you to do this basically you can run down right away your sova darts it and then walk into your smoke the silver hopefully gets a ping and then you can kill them through the smoke this is kind of a little bit gimmicky um but it does work especially if they're not ready for it this also kind of allows you to get this orb for free you can't get spammed obviously but take the risk as you will especially if the dart doesn't ping anyone well then you're perfect to take it for free you can kind of smoke this um i would only recommend smoking this if you're doubling up toward b long so you have someone like here and someone here this way when they push out they're gonna immediately be susceptible to two angles if you have long control then this is actually a really solid place to play i'd recommend with a vandal because generally you don't have much leeway in getting a headshot here and getting a dink is going to be a little bit sad but playing a position like this gives you a really good angle toward anyone running through this choke point as their priority is probably clearing left right up top on the box and they're not going to be expected someone to be a little bit farther you can even be on the ground to do this um it's just more of a headshot angle if you do this but if you're on top, you probably see more of the body. So up to you on how you want to play it. If you have lower HP, maybe play this headshot angle so that you have a lesser chance of dying. It's a harder shot, sure, but you're more prepared than he is. So this is probably better. But if you have more HP and you're willing to kind of spray this guy down, then maybe you stay up top. Playing this cubby. Now, I think everyone who is good at playing bind um, needs to know how to play this cubby properly. I highly don't recommend you just tucking in fully. This is kind of a really dumb thing to do because the only angle that becomes good to you from this is if someone just crosses like close. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you imagine anyone crossing from the far angle toward the other side of the site, like this side, this box blocks you and you only have a split second to react like this is the amount of time you have to react before they get out of your range and if they cross you and you miss before they're out of their range and now you become super screwed you just kind of get stuck here oh they crossed oh shoot i can't and then now you have to worry about this and then the teammates that are trailing behind him which also now know where you are and now you have an unfavorable fight on some guy probably swinging this side of tube and the rest of the team is flooding behind him so that's why i recommend if you're going to do this you want to actually swing out a little bit wider throw this so that way you have a much bigger gap of anyone running out and it's an off angle which people don't really expect you to really be holding something like this i'm not saying that they won't check it but between checking sight tube elbow close right like 
then back site they're gonna be a lot of things they need to worry about so you're only one of the like six angles that they're probably determined to flush out obviously remember this is scary if they have mollies and stuff like that keep that in mind don't play the angle if they have nades or if they've been nading it consistently but if you're holding out wider for this from the cubby you're gonna catch someone here when they're focused on this this and possibly that so you're gonna be a little bit better also this allows you to tuck back in so when you get this kill you can kind of back up rather than if you're already in this if you miss you can't tuck back deeper because you're already in you have to swing wide rather than being out you get the kill you can tuck back in swing back out if you want you have more area to go um rather than before so yes don't always tuck back in i'm not saying there's never a time to do this but in general if you can just swing out a little bit wider give yourself a little bit more leeway in terms of like getting a kill you're gonna find it be a bit better in terms of holding sight if you can this is a great off angle to play people don't really expect it to like swing and then you'll be like sitting there right so they'll be like probably focused on covering this back sight there and then you're going to be holding an off angle this obviously does depend on who's coming onto site and how many people are running on obviously if they're spinning splitting left and right you're going to have a hard time but if you can kind of time it mentally or you kind of see an opening where you know this left guy is going to swing you before this right guy does then you can take the fight with the left and then also go back to hold for the right this is a hard position Position to hold but you're gonna also realize that most of the time as long as you can isolate the left and right so you can get a one-on-one -on -one with whatever guy is swinging and you might actually have an advantage if you have players still holding long this might be really good because if you're they're holding long then you know it's unlikely they're gonna swing this side and you can just focus on this side yes they can jump over all that stuff but you take what you get all right now let's go on to the attacking side where we kind of talk about how to hit different parts of the map we're gonna start with short a as this is probably the most common one. First thing you need to worry about is this they can time you if you guys don't have a player coming from here if you guys are swinging just from here someone can make it into the corner without you seeing them that's the first thing you want to make sure if you have a teammate that's peeking that right away you probably don't need to worry about that but in the case you don't it is worth checking to make sure that you're fine don't be the first one in usually you want to be the second third person in and if someone's holding this you'll feel much more comfortable swinging this otherwise you can even take the gamble and molly it but sometimes it's not really worth it if you're pushing onto the a site we're going to talk about the smokes that you really want to do it's the two that i talked about this will cover it it won't cover for heaven so do be careful of that but because heaven is so commonly smoked it's usually not that bad to do you can throw the third one if i were to recommend you can throw it either heaven or on top of the truck on top of the truck gives you a better angle to be held you can even sometimes gamble with not having this one right here and just doing the truck smoke and the side smoke these two smokes yes there's a gap here um for showers players but as long as they're aware maybe they'll be okay the next thing i would recommend is mollying this this flushes kind of anyone out of this corner and forces them to push back it allows you to kind of like peek this and then after that you can kind of just ignore it rather than if that molly wasn't there you have to kind of peek this and then you have to keep going to clear the corner so i usually just like throwing something like that just so that it makes it so that i only have to clear up to this and then i can go back, back and focus toward showers and bench that area i don't think i really need to tell you when to throw this dim beacon but obviously throwing it right before you execute is really good so the area i would probably recommend is as your teammates getting close to this stim everyone and then we're gonna explode through this likely a uh, smoke here so after mauling this you have a decision here you can either take sight and if you've gotten a fight already then you probably don't need to do this which is push showers but if you haven't and you have a teammate that's going showers or a late lurk or something like that you might want to go and try to clear showers otherwise you just kind of have to be posted for it the reason why i say push showers or clear it is because with the smoke's up you have kind of a time window where you don't need to worry about back sight and in that time window you can decide to either play it safe or you could try to take showers with a teammate if you have a late lurk this kind of works a little bit better because you'll be pinching from the a site and you'll be pinching from shower side and as long as one of you guys draw aggro the other person is probably going to get a kill I actually have a clip that I'm going to roll where it kind of works out. I get onto the A site and I am going to actually push toward showers. But yeah, after clearing showers, this becomes much easier for you on the post plant. Causes a really hard time for defenders to really want to cross. Like they can't cross this way. They'll get shot from showers. So they'll probably need to smoke it out. They also need to worry about this eventually. Even if they get onto site, they're still able to be pinched from the entirety of this half of the map. So that's why showers control is so big on top of the fact that it makes for a safer plant. The next thing you can do is wait for the molly to run out and then take u-haul so if you have a jet dashing in or somebody going in to clear u-haul fast then you don't need to molly this obviously you don't want to molly off your team and if you do end up saving your molly i would recommend trying to use it to like 
clear u-haul so this is a really good one because of the off angles i was talking about the only one that he can really stand is probably like right here basically i just bounce it off here it doesn't have to be super exact but it pushes them into a very awkward angle to defend they can only be here which is actually a relatively easy angle to clear and then the other one is they have to be like deep here and this is like a really awkward angle and also pretty easy because you're you're gonna be focused around this area and once you take u-haul this becomes really easy you double up with a teammate a lot of times one person playing here one person playing here this guy can like bait or jiggle for you and then that way anyone in the corner will know oh is it coming in and then they, it, 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 it's a death trap pushing through this becomes a death trap you have to win against this guy or you have to win against this guy and likely you're probably going to lose to either holding u-haul is just very important i want you to remember that if they ignore you u-haul you can wrap and now you can kind of eventually catch a timing on the people defusing if you don't ignore u-haul you have to kind of run through this death trap yes they can wrap and they'll try to fight you here but it's like now they have to guess between two angles as well as fight all the crossfires that are created from the u-haul player the last thing i want to talk about on the attack side is when you have brim ult i think a site hits are very very strong the moment you have brim ult and it's probably worth committing like an extra player or two toward uh showers or bath area because if you take showers control your ult will definitely guarantee you u-haul control and then you're probably going to take the site for free all right so we're going to drop the two smokes that are normal for a site we're going to ult u-haul you're going to notice that covers everything and then we're going to try to get one either to that side of triple and that makes it so that no one can really push through this and then you're gonna follow up right behind your brim ult to take control of the space that your ult cleared now you have a u-haul control this part is canceled out no one can be here you obviously clear everything close to site and now your showers players flood out and it's pretty easy for them to hold the site and you guys have all the anchor positions are literally ready in the span of 10 15 seconds the only thing i would recommend you be careful about is that you want to time your brim ult properly if you throw the brim ult and like you get mollied out this brim ult's usefulness is going to get cancelled out therefore you can't really do anything but if you can try to guarantee the value make sure your teammates are like basically past the point of no return meaning that they can't get mollied out and then you'll ult so for me that would be like around this area because they're, even if the molly if they hear a molly go down they'll probably run past it and the last thing i really want to bring up is that when peeking short a you want to make sure you jump peek this on top of truck is a really popular spot for chambers to play or operas in general besides Besides that you really sometimes want to peek from this it gives you a upper elevation your headshot angle is now thrown off because you're just taller and it gives you a little bit of an elevated view toward everyone taking showers can be a little bit hard especially if they're playing like i recommended you play on the defense where they're smoking this out you kind of want your teammates to be there to help you clear you basically need some sort of utility drone roomba dart something to kind of help clear um dog from sky something like that because if this is smoked out you can't push into this very safely um unless you have some sort of flash you have to use something even if you molly this out it's not safe enough um you can kind of try to timing it with being lucky let's say like i was saying a late lurk even this is smoked out if you're you hear people shooting from showers towards site then you can take that as an opportunity to just walk through a smoke but you'll see that that's like obviously very dependent on what goes on during the round after what goes on there i recommend trying to keep your showers presence probably concealed as much as possible so basically as these two smokes are probably up on site you can take the peaks to clear the close angles make sure no one is benched tucked in these angles and make sure no one's going to swing through the smoke but as the smoke fades i recommend you kind of play a slightly more passive angle and not directly reveal that you're here the reason is is because if you can you want to try to catch one off but everyone is usually re ready for a showers angle right no one's gonna be like ignoring this someone's going to be aware if showers is open so if you can keep it you want to maybe just take a fight with this this becomes very dangerous because you have to focus around heaven triple as well as the cubby so this one is the safest one and if you can you might want to like timing your peak so not to peak initially and what i mean by uh, don't take the first peak is let's say i just rotated from b this is the first place i'm peaking right this is the initial peak after i hold for a while and no one peaks then i'm gonna go for a secondary like and check the other angles because i'm assuming i held this for a while no one peaking i'm going to kind of assume that there's probably no one there or they're not they're just not holding for me so if you can time your peak off of like maybe some sort of contact some sort of noise he's starting to shoot and then swing makes a lot more sense also does a little bit better obviously playing too passive can also be bad because you just get smoked out but in general if you can kind of time it a little bit make your decision making based off of some sort of logic whether it be like oh i need to take this peak because you know nah, my teammate's stuck or something like that you know you'll find better success
The next is you can bounce the molly off this side. This is probably better because it forces people to really cross toward one side. I don't have a perfect molly for it, but this is really good to swing with because it's eliminated like half the angles and you don't need to worry about this one, which he's probably going to be moving from. I will say though, in general, don't have your brimstone really want to come out hookah because you want to guarantee that you survive until you get your smokes off. You kind of want to go in second. You kind of want to trade out whoever's going in first, whether it be a raise or someone who has some like one of your entries. And then once you get into here, obviously your smokes will go up. And then the first place I'm going to recommend you molly is probably just the spawn smoke. It just has a lot of benefits pushing out any of the defenders that were either playing passive, like I said earlier, or any rotates in because bind has relatively quick rotates and cutting off these rotates means that you've isolated the probably two players on site that you have to deal with and you'll probably just find it easier once you take site the retake becomes much harder so guarantee that retake unless you have some sort of knowledge that they're somewhere on site but it would have to be somewhere actually good so i would recommend the only one i would probably substitute this molly one for is this one or if we caught a timing and what i mean by caught a timing is that i have a inkling that like no one's gonna rotate in time and that's because whether we you know lurked up and we just walked out all of a sudden we got a kill yeah they're probably not rotating for me that fast because they didn't expect us to be there otherwise i'm probably gonna go for this one because it's just safer but if you wanted to get the corner you can just bounce it off that and you'll be all set for long you're gonna want to take a little bit more precaution and you want to like kind of jump peek this obviously offers so doing a jump peek is really good if you're playing slow and you don't actually plan on hitting b in the early round throwing this one is also okay it makes it really hard for anyone to really want to swing through this to Try to fight for this you get a free orb um, which is nice and then you get up close for free making it really awkward for someone to be maybe be sitting here because they just have to wait for the smoke to fade out and then if you have multiple players here you probably trade this guy out be careful of flashes flashes are super commonly played toward garden because of this entire lane um and one flash blinds everyone in the lane and they have nowhere to escape you know think about what happens and i'm sure we've all experienced this at some point getting blind and turning like you're not going to make it around this corner before you're dead and especially the farther up you are the more committed you are after getting to this area and clearing out this then it's pretty simple you would want to throw the same normal two smokes and in terms of how to molly it i usually aim for this corner right here you'll see like where this wall meets this wall just somewhere like around this and then it'll do essentially the same thing it obviously isn't perfect but since it does the same thing i think it's fine and it's really easy to throw on the fly which means that you can act really fast the other one you can throw is toward elbow i don't like this one as much although it can be okay i'd rather focus toward elbow as i'm crossing at the site and my teams are like scaling up then focus towards spawn elbows just so far that generally unless they're already a b player they're not going to be there they would come through the spawn smoke before they come through this smoke this box is always worth clearing just spamming a little bit if you have the time and then this close angle obviously after all the smokes are out you want to try to clear this angle careful about this off angle because you'll see that this timing of me getting to the spot is the same time i'd be probably focused on this over this so this gives you kind of a nice uh off angle to get a headshot on in terms of the ult the kind of gamble is between whether you play post plant or you play it to take sight if you're gonna play it to take sight i would recommend you checking based on your prior knowledge from different rounds where people play if they're elbow players this one's really good it's similar to the u-haul one where if they're stuck in it they have to the fact that they have to wrap around this u shape means that they can't get out of this ult in time but if they're not they're just playing back sight this is perfectly fine this will hit 90 percent of sight combo this with a molly and then the, obviously the two smokes the only place that you could really be playing is back here or he's gonna need to swing out and probably die all right we're gonna talk a little bit about post plant since the site exec usually only takes two smokes you're gonna have one smoke to kind of re-smoke with this is going to de depend on where you're usually holding or where your teammates are so for example if your teammates are in garden or like back here then in general you're going to want to smoke out spawn because there's more teammates that are holding the farther angles that even if this guy comes out elbow he has to focus on both the players that are on site as well as the players that are long and that just means as long as you shut down this push then you'll be fine in the case that you have more players on site but this is usually when you have less numbers then you're going to want to focus on the more likely outcome which is that they just push through the spawn choke and when you throw this one now you can kind of pivot and because you can spot elbow earlier you can kind of just focus on fighting this and then if you need to you can kind of turn around but obviously with lesser players it's like less worrisome about holding different things but with more players you're probably going to want to smoke the one that gives them a better pinch if it's like a one on x situation or you know they're not to the left side of elbow then i would recommend taking this headshot angle or this off angle this becomes really annoying for them to deal with because 
it's a small amount and they're also trying to clear this 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 right back here back here they see how all these angles that they're probably going to be worried about and then you're just a little tip of your head it's going to be up here trying to get the headshot angle it's really good especially if you have a vandal because it's just a one hit headshot as well as the fact that um if you have low hp this is a good one to kind of catch someone off guard if it's like a two-on-two -two situation this happens all the time because of the tps for example you it's like a two-on-two -two situation you guys were hitting a and then you realize the last two are a or something like that and then you kind of run through the tp and you know that b is going to be clear because you knew that the last two were a instead of smoking it might be worth to actually hold this angle and be ready for someone to swing out because you want to get the first kill especially if it's like a two on three or two on x and you're down in numbers you would rather get the kill than just smoke it out because they're just going to wait the smoke out in the case that you do use your smoke so getting the kill and then smoking it out is usually better so doing this sometimes baits them into thinking oh no it's safe for them to peek and then you get that kill and then you move on uh, into the 2vx hopefully it's a better situation after that all right let's talk about retake in the case of retaking a the normal smoke is always the same this one's the most yeah. important although i will say showers is also equally important if you kept your molly sometimes it's worth to molly this um just to make sure that no one can be swinging you and then what what happens is that likely they're probably gonna be pushed off the angle and your teammates wrapping this side won't have to worry about showers and then they're gonna cross and once they get close they can pick up the showers after the molly fade if you're not going for that way and you want to take u-haul it is worth to try to just bounce a molly in here to clear the hard left and right um uh, this one wasn't really that great but if you just shoot one and it'll push it'll likely out just like yeah if this wasn't even it was like a half ass molly but it'll likely just push out someone that is already there and if that's the case once you know your molly has cleared one side you can just hold it until your molly fades and then you just clear it yourself you want to kind of slice the pie almost as much as possible here because there are so many off angles people like to play to hold this and if you slice the pie slow enough you're gonna find that like oh we cleared everything okay and then after you get to this point you want to check for this top angle right here or this bottom angle it's kind of a gamble but i see most people holding from this because it's just safer you think about it you, you can't get shot from anywhere else um rather than like this which is just super in the open to everything else so after holding the top this is when you don't actually want to commit to a swing even though you've cleared this far you want to take your time a little bit let your teammates like work this because now you know that this spot is clear because you're holding it and yes they could be here here or like pretty much anywhere close you want to time your swing so that your death has meaning or that you get more information if you die here um before your teammates are even ready to retake that's bad but imagine if your teammates were already like running about to run onto site and then you like peek and then you die let's say you die to the pocket player but now they're in a position to capitalize immediately because they'll hear this guy shooting at you and they'll just swing and kill him so like you want to make sure that you're not just peeking just because you've cleared this far that's like the first step but getting into the position so that you can die for useful purposes uh yeah but basically the, where you want to worry about is here and here those are the two and after that once you clear those things and you can kind of go to swing out this side and then your teammates hopefully pinch this side make sure you might need a re-smoke yada 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 you're all good retake is also super strong with brimol it's the same thing essentially you probably want to ult this you can't ult this but in general i think once you gain uh u-haul control you're gonna find the retake becomes easier and it's more of a guaranteed value rather than ulting like this if like they just dodge it you ulted nothing if you ult u-haul at the very least you know you gain u-haul control retaking b um you can throw these two these are the most common ones but i'm actually going to one up them the one for hookah and one for garden is a common one i'm actually going to one up it and just say that a lot of the times it's worth just smoking like this because the hookah one's too deep that someone can still swing like this backside to fight you right but if you throw this that becomes like a lot more awkward and you only have to focus on close right here in the tube i mean i'm saying this but there's still a lot of angles and then you can even like if you really want to you can throw molly here or throw this one here this essentially sometimes it's better to double down on one side just so you can focus on the other so what i mean by this is since yes this covers like i could molly this that's okay right that's great it covers a lot of area but the issue is i'm still going to need to turn my back at some point to clear this now if i throw this while well, yes this only clears one angle and that one probably clears like that one and this one now only have to worry about my right side so it kind of makes it easier to take the fight even though this molly cleared less angles after you take back sight here and if you still have smokes then yes you're gonna want to smoke the deeper one um obviously always worry about players that are elbow 
um, because if you don't come out of elbow, then you're, you're gonna need to worry about someone who is pushed up. If they're spamming or they're playing like this kind of like post plant, it's good to walk up into the smoke and try to get close because you might want to take the fight to them. So like if they're spamming this and you can like kind of crouch in through this and basically while they're spamming, you time it and you just kill them. Well, you'll, you'll just stop them from spamming essentially and your teammates can get a pretty free one. All right, now we're going to kind of jump into lineups. I'm going to give two simple ones that are pretty easy to learn. And I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about how your thought process should be going between having these lineups and the things you want to kind of avoid. So basically, the first thing you want to avoid is that if you've just gotten the spike down, you kind of have to stay with your team for at least a little bit to defend. It doesn't matter if you have both your ult and a molly. That's not enough time to defend the entirety of the spike in terms of blocking it off from being diffused. So you have to help your teammates at least defend for a little bit prioritize your life a little bit more if you do have these lineups make sure you don't like not like wide swinging into three people but you're just like taking these like one angle fights that you're pretty likely not gonna die from and that way you can always back off your goal is to slow down the push maybe get one but basically make it so that you can stall this time as much as possible before you fall back once they start getting closer to site, they start smoking you off or something like that, then you can start backing out as your usefulness is going to be better when you kind of play your lineups. Now, the next thing I want to point out is that you want to ult if you have your ult before you drop the molly. Now, the reason I'm going to tell you this is because when you kind of set up for a molly, it takes time. And if they've started to defuse first or to tap the spike and you don't know, you have no way of canceling it out. And maybe by the time you get your lineup out, they might have gotten it to half. They might even have full stuck it, depending on how long it takes the molly to get there. So by getting the ult down first, while the ult is going up, you can kind of still set up for your molly. And then that way, when you shoot it, it'll still be flying. The ult ends, the molly lands at the same time, and it kind of creates a giant block of time where they can't possibly defuse rather than gaps in between where if they stick it before you're ready for your molly you're going to be kind of screwed or at least have a lot of pressure to make sure that you need to double check whether they're even on the spike so the one that i'm going to give you is pretty simple you're going to wedge yourself up on the barrel into the corner and you're going to look at this panel right here this last panel there's one two three four the top one the one closest to the sky if you look at the molly icon the q and you go up right under the mouse you're going to see a flat Flat line right under the mouse where the left click is highlighted and you're gonna wedge it into this corner right here above this little lamp thing and lining this panel and if you see here you're gonna see that white line being wedged into where I just shot and you're just gonna click no jumps required it's gonna take a little bit to land but you're gonna see it lands perfectly and covers the usual default plant this area now I try to make this lineup pretty simple to remember. So basically we're gonna be using the same line as before on the A site, but this time for the B site default plant, you're gonna wedge yourself up against this star pattern. You're gonna see this for fountain, there's this star pattern, and it's gonna be this corner right here. Wedge yourself up, and then you're gonna look at this yellow kind of solar panel right here, and you're going to use the same line, and you're gonna put it right so that the leftmost part of the white line is on top of the left corner of the solar panel and then you'll just click same thing it flies over and this one is a little bit nice because it blocks off the kind of other plant here that a lot of people like to plant for and it covers this one in the corner if you want to commit a little bit more to the left side by the default plant you can use the arrow under the same line instead and just line it up at the edge of the solar panel right here you're gonna see the arrow and then you're also gonna click. And it'll just shift it over just a little bit to the left and cover the plant more condensely. It's up to you. They're both pretty good. This one might actually shut out more in the case that you have planted in the spike. corner, but this one also kind of allows you to just between either or. And the last thing I wanna recommend for post plant is when you're dropping the smokes, you can actually drop it on top of the tube. And that way anyone who is diffusing in the corner actually has no vision yet you can see their feet under and it becomes a very easy kind of post plant hold they're going to be especially in a one-on-one -on -one, this becomes very very hard and you can just kind of jump peek to see if they're sticking it if you see their feet under then you can just swing out and spray some other things for bind is we want to talk about when you want to tp and that's when you find that you can't plant safely usually on the a site i'm not really talking about the b one because that one's like the not as good tp 
But basically, the most common situation is you guys are coming up short and it's looking real good. But then, like, as your teammates planting, you might be lose just like full showers control. Maybe two of your teammates who went showers just died to one guy there. Or maybe your teammate died from here and you guys have zero showers control. And that you guys are getting flashed, mollied, uh, stuff like that. And it becomes like harder and harder to take because you don't have the showers control. I'm gonna say showers a lot because it's kind of the most important part. If you don't have it, it's very unsafe to plant. Even if you smoke it out, you've essentially cut yourself off from taking most of the site so a lot of times you just like the tp um you're gonna want to get count the amount of abilities so like silver dark sky flash brim molly brim smoke these are abilities that kind of tell you where or how many people are on the site the closer range ones are obviously better so like a sky flash is probably going to signify more than like a brim or omen smoke because those can be thrown from far away but you can kind of count them and as you realize if there's three you can leave the reason why i wouldn't do it toward the b site is this is not as good because it's so far but the b teleporter to site is really close so if you realize that hey this is going to be too hard to hold you guys can just leave and that's probably usually the best moment to do it be careful of this this and obviously anyone holding a hookah but if you've counted enough players then you can kind of feel with relative safety that there's probably no one there and just have your gun out until you probably get behind this box and then you do the smoke smoke and then molly sometimes i'll even just molly if i really feel like there's not that much of a timing and that's because it it does the same thing you know no one can peek that and then also no one can run through so and then i'll smoke right after to make sure no one can run through after the molly fades i would recommend on the beat defense to not always play the same way backside or something to play aggro sometimes just to do certain stuff to kind of throw them off um waste their raise utility raises roomba comes in you break it you jump out raise throws a nade in because that's what all raises do and then they've wasted a nade on hookah and they can't nade you out of back sight so therefore you are you know good you can play cubby now more safely you can play back sight or in the tube it doesn't really matter basically with the fact that you just broke the roomba and ran she's gonna nade and you kind of read into it a little bit next is if you double up hookah and they end up not going hookah or you maybe just kill the people who are going hookah and the rest of the hit is coming from b long remember that the safe plant is in this corner while you can't see someone if they're tucked in planting from like hookah or anywhere you can wall bang this from here um give it a few bursts you might get the kill if they're kind of low but yes you can if you can see like your your half of the body is going to be sticking out and they can wall bang that so you probably just want to give that a shot doesn't hurt and it's pretty safe to do because they can't even really swing you if you're in the inevitable clutch situation where you're coming out of hookah and this comes a lot this is very very hard position to do because you give a sound cue every time you jump try to mix in a jump just to make the sound it is different than the sand sound so they can be able to tell but if you mix it in with a gunshot then all of a sudden they have to think that oh there's a possibility that you've dropped out and someone might need to go check and in the case that they go check like maybe if you're just holding this or you're holding this then all of a sudden you just might get a free kill because they had to go peek this is probably a higher level thought process and people are probably at lower inks probably won't need to worry about this but in that case then you actually do jump out with a gunshot it kind of blocks the sound of you landing and then you can kind of drop out and that's pretty much it that's my thorough thought process on whenever i play bind how i play my brimstone and i've gotten to radiant off of this so hopefully this can help you as well i think thorough thought processes probably make a lot more sense than just a bunch of little gimmicky tips or tricks so hopefully this helps you out remember if you watched the video and you liked it then please like comment subscribe all that jazz and let me know what you thought it really helps out the channel more than you know i stream weekdays at 4 p.m est so if you want to come chat with me ask me any questions then i'll see you on my twitch stream twitch.tv forward slash flow shizzle and as always i'll see you in the next video peace out